Did you know that the brain of John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States, mysteriously disappeared after his assassination? Yes, you heard that right. In one of the most baffling chapters of American history, Kennedy's brain, which was removed during his autopsy, vanished without a trace. It's a tantalizing mystery that has stirred up conspiracy theories and fueled countless debates. But who was John F. Kennedy? A charismatic leader, he was a beacon of hope and progress, who left an indelible mark on American politics and the world at large. His tragic assassination in November of 1963 shocked the nation, but the puzzling disappearance of his brain added an eerie layer to the already tragic event. So, where did Kennedy's brain go? The mystery remains unsolved. As we delve deeper into this story, we are left to wonder what secrets could have been unlocked from this missing piece of the puzzle. Born into one of America's wealthiest families and parlayed an elite education into a successful military career. This was the early life of John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States. Born in May of 1917, Kennedy was the second of nine children in the illustrious Kennedy clan. His father, Joseph Kennedy, was a successful businessman and later an influential political figure, while his mother, Rose, was a socialite and philanthropist. The Kennedys, with their wealth and influence, were akin to royalty in America. Growing up, Kennedy enjoyed the privileges of an elite education. He attended the prestigious Choate School in Connecticut, where his competitive spirit and charisma were already evident. He later studied at Harvard, where he graduated with a degree in international affairs. In the midst of World War II, Kennedy, like many young men of his time, was called to serve. He joined the United States Navy in 1941, a decision that would significantly shape his life and future political career. Kennedy served as the commander of a patrol torpedo boat, PT-109, in the Pacific Theater. Under his leadership, PT-109 was responsible for patrolling enemy territory a task fraught with danger. In August of 1943, PT-109 was struck by a Japanese destroyer and split in two. Despite suffering a severe back injury, Kennedy demonstrated exceptional bravery. He led his surviving crew members to a deserted island, even towing one injured man through the water with a life jacket strap held in his teeth. For his courage and leadership, Kennedy was awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Medal the highest non-combat decoration awarded for heroism by the US Navy. This act of bravery not only marked him as a war hero, but also as a man of action, a trait that would serve him well in his political career. Kennedy's heroism during the war was a prelude to his later political career. His courage, leadership and resilience during this time of crisis would later become cornerstones of his presidency and leave an indelible mark on American history. From the halls of Congress to the White House, Kennedy's political journey was anything but ordinary. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, affectionately known as JFK, started his political career in the House of Representatives. In the year 1946, he was elected from Massachusetts's 11th Congressional District. His charisma was infectious and his passion for public service was palpable. This was a man destined for greatness and America was just beginning to realize it. For six years, JFK served in the House, during which time he championed various social and economic issues. But his political ambitions didn't stop there. In 1952, he ran for the Senate, and despite being up against a popular incumbent, he won. This victory was a testament to his charisma, his appeal to the common man, and his ability to connect with voters on a personal level. Now let's turn the clock to the year 1960. The young senator from Massachusetts decided to run for the highest office in the land, the presidency. It was a bold move, but JFK was no stranger to challenges. He was up against Richard Nixon, a seasoned politician and then vice president. The odds seemed stacked against him, but JFK had a secret weapon, television. The 1960 presidential debates were the first to be televised in American history. This played right into JFK's hands his charm, good looks and eloquence shone brightly on the small screen. Nixon, on the other hand, appeared less comfortable and less appealing. These debates were instrumental in shaping public opinion and ultimately they played a significant role in JFK's victory. The election of John F. Kennedy as the 35th President of the United States was a landmark event. 
He was the youngest person ever elected to the presidency and the first Catholic. But more than that, his victory marked a shift in American politics, one that placed a greater emphasis on charisma, image, and the power of television. Kennedy's charismatic appeal and youthful energy won him the presidency, but it was his leadership that defined his legacy. Scene script. Despite a brief presidency, Kennedy left an indelible mark on American history. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States, held office from January 1961 until his assassination in November 1963. Though his tenure was short, it was packed with significant events that shaped not only America, but the world at large. Kennedy navigated the treacherous waters of the Cold War, a period of geopolitical tension between the Soviet Union and the United States. The Cuban Missile Crisis in October 1962 was the pinnacle of this tension. It was a nail-biting 13-day standoff, the closest the world has ever come to a full-scale nuclear war. Kennedy's administration managed to negotiate the removal of Soviet missiles from Cuba, averting a potential catastrophe. Next, let's rocket into the space race. Kennedy's presidency saw the United States and the Soviet Union competing for dominance in space exploration. In a bold move, Kennedy announced in 1961 the ambitious goal of landing an American man on the moon before the end of the decade. This audacious challenge galvanized the nation, leading to the successful Apollo missions and Neil Armstrong's historic moon landing in 1969, a feat that echoed Kennedy's vision and determination. On the home front, Kennedy took significant steps towards racial equality. He advocated for civil rights, supporting the cause both publicly and politically. His administration proposed a comprehensive civil rights bill in 1963, which after his death, was passed as the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This landmark legislation outlawed racial discrimination and segregation, a turning point in American history. Kennedy's presidency was not without controversy and criticism, but his charismatic leadership and eloquent speeches inspired a generation. He once said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, a sentiment that still resonates today. Kennedy's presidency was marked by high tensions and high ambitions. His legacy, though born of a brief tenure, continues to influence American politics and the world stage to this day. Kennedy's presidency was tragically cut short by an assassin's bullet. On that fateful day, the 22nd of November 1963, President Kennedy was in Dallas, Texas, participating in a motorcade. He was waving to the crowd when shots rang out, and the 35th President of the United States was fatally wounded. The official investigation, led by the Warren Commission, concluded that a lone gunman, Lee Harvey Oswald, was responsible. Oswald, a former US Marine with known links to the Soviet Union, was arrested shortly after the assassination. However, before he could stand trial, he was killed by Jack Ruby, a nightclub owner with alleged ties to organized crime. This sequence of events, fraught with shocking turns and unexpected deaths, led to a myriad of conspiracy theories. Some argue Oswald was not the real assassin or that he didn't act alone. Others suggest that the CIA, the Mafia or even individuals within Kennedy's own administration had a hand in the plot. One of the most enduring theories revolves around the grassy knoll. Witnesses reported hearing shots from this direction, not from the Texas School Book Depository where Oswald was positioned. Despite the Warren Commission's conclusion, these testimonies fuel the belief that there was a second shooter. Another point of contention is the magic bullet theory. This hypothesis suggests that one bullet caused seven wounds to Kennedy and Texas Governor John Connolly, who was also in the car. Critics argue that the trajectory and damage caused by this single bullet are implausible, hinting at the involvement of more than one gunman. Despite numerous investigations and studies, no consensus has been reached. The true narrative of Kennedy's assassination remains shrouded in mystery and speculation. The lack of concrete evidence, combined with the dramatic and high-profile nature of the event, ensures that these theories continue to captivate and intrigue. The truth of Kennedy's assassination may never be fully known, but the quest for answers, the desire to uncover what really happened on that tragic day in Dallas, continues to captivate us decades later. John F. Kennedy's life and presidency were filled with intrigue, ambition and unsolved mysteries. We journeyed from his early days 
marked by a strong sense of purpose and a thirst for service, to his meteoric rise to the highest office in the land. As the 35th American president, Kennedy's term was a beacon of progress and promise, yet shrouded in layers of enigma. We delved into the assassination that shook the world, an event clouded with unanswered questions and eerie coincidences. The missing brain, a vital piece to this complex puzzle, remains an enduring mystery, its whereabouts unknown to this day. Kennedy's legacy, interwoven with tales of determination, leadership and cryptic occurrences, continues to captivate us. Each chapter in his story unravels a new layer, a fresh perspective, yet the ultimate truth seems to always be just out of reach. As we delve deeper into the life of JFK, we find more questions than answers, making his story one of the most intriguing in American history.